Happening this morning, the St. Louis Board of Aldermen signed off on a plan to greatly increase their own pay following the April municipal elections. Alex Gall is following up with both sides. Friday morning, the St. Louis Board of Aldermen voted to double their own salaries from $36,000 a year to $72,000 a year, but not all the aldermen are on board. It's wrong. If you're in this for the money, you're in it for the wrong reason. Alderman Joe Vaccaro was one of eight people voting no on board bill 119 because he believes other city employees don't make enough. Having a son in the police department and a daughter in the police department, they're very underpaid. The bill requires aldermen to work an average of 32 hours per week to receive the $72,000 salary, but they are still allowed to work another job. Some city employees and the St. Louis Police Officers Association call it a slap in the face, saying their pay raise percentage usually falls in these single digits. The police union issued a statement saying in part, St. Louis does not have a problem finding politicians. It has a problem staffing police cars. Despite his opposition, Vaccaro says the increase would not stop him from running again. Would you forego that salary increase if you got reelected? You can't run on that, but I'll find something to do with it. The pay raise will put St. Louis in line with other similar sized cities in the region like Cincinnati and Pittsburgh. And St. Louis Alderman would earn roughly 20,000 more than part-time council members in Wichita, a larger city. Just because I don't want to make the most money doesn't mean I shouldn't, after all these years, make some kind of money. Alderwoman Sharon Tyus was first elected to the board in the early 90s. She supported the raises, saying working as an alder person is a full-time job, and the pay should reflect. If we're going to be a competitive 21st century city, we need to pay everybody a competitive rate. In downtown, I'm Alex Gall, News 4.